Hi, welcome back to the Air Sports Match Zone. Using a Chinese massage techniques, which are over a thousand years old, British Jamaican Errol Lynch has been traveling the world teaching and practicing Trina. One of the biggest fixes is Manchester United and Barclays Premier League top scorer Robin Van Persie. Guess what? Errol is here with us in the studio to talk about those techniques and uh, his plans for the future and maybe to fix my knee. All right, um, welcome to, to Sports Match Zone. Um, tell me about the Van Persie um, experiment, first of all. Well, Van Persie, one of his friends introduced him to me, mm -hmm. and he was his mechanic, and I did something for him. And what you I did to him... his car? No, God, he's the mechanic. Oh, he's mechanic. Yeah. He's mechanic, oh. I'm, I'm a body mechanic. <laughs> oh. So I fixed his hand, where he had eight years, no use. And so after I fixed the hand, his friend was on Percy. He said, let me bring Van Percy to you. All right. One sec. Where are you based? In London or in England? Um, England, London. Right. So when you fix this guy's hand, what, he couldn't use his hand previously? He or? could not use the hand previously. So for at least eight years. What was exactly wrong with the hand? He had the nerve damage, so the hand couldn't work. So as a mechanic, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. You need two hands. Mm. So I, I helped him. And how back. long did that process take? 30 minutes, three times, so 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, and then he had 80% use of his hand. All in I one go, or he had to come? No, in three weeks. Three. In three weeks, yeah. okay. So, Just 10 minutes? Yeah. So, so we had discussion, I fixed his knee in his back, and he said, well, you know, through the treatment, he said his hand is bust, so mm -hmm. I said, I'll do the hand, he said, don't bother, because the doctor said the hand is of no use. So I said, well, you paid for one hour? I'll do your treatment for the hour, and then after the treatment, I do 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. for one treatment, second treatment, third treatment, his hand has full use. So, what, what brought you to this Chinese technique? The Twina, before Twina, already a Chinese herbalist, acupuncturist, Japanese massage therapist, Shiatsu, sports massage, massage, reflexology. Um, and they're all good. But then I went to China to do an acupuncture clinical training. And then I was introduced to Twina, and that was in 1998. And so seeing patients get on the bed, you know, all broken up, mm -hmm. and then they get off the bed, okay, then all the other therapies that I did use were of little value by comparison to the power of what Twina can offer. Now, how long has mm. Twina been around? Because it's, it's honestly the first time I'm hearing of it. I'm mm. not sure if Simon has, because you've been around for a long time, <laughs> and you haven't heard of it. Yes, how long has it been around? How did it start, all of this? Tw Twina is one of the first therapies ever, before acupuncture, before herbs. Mm -hmm. The acupuncture and herbs are dated two, three, four thousand years. But before we can stick a needle, there was touch. Mm -hmm. So Twina is a hands-on massage therapy. So long before this, it was recorded as and more, Mm -hmm. And that's um, to and is to press more is to rub and mm -hmm. so that was documented and then 500 years ago they changed the name add in a few more techniques and mm -hmm. then became Twina. So let's get back to Van Percy. Yeah. Um, what was his problem and what did you do? The his problem I could never tell you because it's private. Okay. For him, but what I did mm -hmm. is made him a better player. But well, that's not quite true. I didn't. Right. Make, he's already a brilliant player. Mm -hmm. But every footballer over a 38 or more game season, if they start at the high level, the more they play, as you guys are cricketers, mm -hmm. so the more you play, the slower you get Obviously, yeah. over the season. Mm -hmm. Injuries and football can be quite difficult. Wear and tear to right. things. What I can do with Twina is maintain, if you've got two players, this is Van Persie on mm -hmm. my left, the other player does this. Van Persie can keep his same at the beginning. Performance so, level thing. So at the end of the season, it looks like he's faster and better, but he's mm -hmm. just the same as when he started. So this is what Twina can offer as a type of sports therapy. And how, how much time did you spend with Van Persie? He used to come once a week on a Thursday. So Throughout the hour. season? Yeah. So uh, it's something that you have to keep up. It's not like, say, a one-time thing for a month. No, it depends on what injuries. But you also, if you don't have injuries, you also have maintenance. Mm -hmm. So how many times, silly question, do you go to the hairdresser? How many times do you go to buy food? You don't eat one big dinner and say, well, that's me done. All right, but are you saying that you worked with him throughout this season? No, no, this <coughs> season, the last time I touched Van Persie this season was just before he scored the first hat-trick of the season. I haven't had time to touch him after. So why, why would he not seek you out after? Because I've been in Thailand, China, San Francisco, New York, 
So you teach them how to touch themselves, or <laughs> after you're done, you just leave them to it? No, um, if you're good, you're good. Yeah, it, he hasn't been injured. Yeah, but if but you no, but we're talking injured. about no, we're moving away from the injury thing. Okay. We're talking about him maintaining mm. that level of performance yeah. throughout the season. Uh, you, by your suggestion, you got him. Well, I don't know. You, uh, uh, he's you never did something uh, to him, and then you bugged it off, and then he still stayed here. So what? No, he didn't here? actually stay here, but. Because if you know, uh, there's a period of a season where he actually right, did. Right. Right. Yes. So you're yeah. absolutely. In terms of a gold drought, yeah. I was. I wasn't there. He wasn't there. I was in a so different country. So you've got a touch. It's called Twina. What's the price of this touch? Depends who's buying. But oh. there, there is a there is a standard price, right. um, which is sixty pounds an hour. Yeah. But depending on which clinic you're working in, if you take me away. So if you take me away, I charge two thousand pounds a day. Okay. Yeah. Certainly. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back with some video of you in action earlier today. So you can probably walk us through it and see this miraculous thing we call Twina. Stay with us. United went up the other end and doubled their lead almost instantly. A contender for goal of the season from that man, Van Persie. All right, welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. Now we're here joining us in the zone is Errol Lynch. He's a Twina massage therapy expert, zoning in all the way from London, England. Now, in the break, because you know we saw that you've worked miracles, of course, with Robin Van Persie, but the true miracle would be if you could work something on Simon Crosskill, who's been suffering with a bad knee for years now, years. Well, he still manages to go out and, you know, dance a little, but... Can, can it be done? He says he needs a new knee completely. Surgery is required. Is it really required? I don't believe surgery is necessarily required. Mm -hmm. If the knee and the bone is worn away then, and there's constant pain, then maybe possible. After the CT or X-ray, MRI, then we can evaluate the quality of the knee. If the bones are worn, this is still not a problem. What we would check would be the cruciate ligaments, the lateral collateral ligaments, and yeah, you know, these are the, the ligaments that hold the knee in, apart. in place. Yeah, in place. <laughs> right. So you have the lateral collateral, medial collateral, either side, mm -hmm. and the cruciate anterior posterior that run inside the knee. If these are in place, then we can actually work with the knee. Then your vastus medialis, which is the triangle muscle. If you look at most footballers, they've got this triangle muscle in the front of the leg. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, right, right. This is the main muscle that stabilizes no, I the I don't knee. have one of those. Then we have to build one of those. Oh, okay. It's muscle. They, they build. Yeah. Build it I, in I've the gym? Looking. Of course. Okay. I've been oh, looking for one. Well, I can. It seems yeah. that you've got hope for Simon. Let's, let's hear some highlights of your work on, on screen. So here's what exactly through? is going on here? And would this be the approach to Simon's problem? No, here this young man, a footballer, is telling me he's got a hip and groin strain. So I was doing a single leg lift and then a Figure four, check in the rotation of his So this hips. is to, the, to see the extent of the groin yeah, problem? the movement right. that a, the, the patient would have. I, I couldn't do that. I'll show it to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was yeah. going to ask. Is, yeah. Are these processes yeah. extremely painful? No. Each time I touch, I've been doing Twina for more or less 15 to 17 years. Mm -hmm. My hands can go on your body and diagnose, but this is only diagnosing. I haven't started a treatment yet. Mm -hmm. yeah? So the quality of the muscle. Mm -hmm. What I would do is break down moose scar tissue. What I would do is lengthen the muscle. How how, how you just touch on and 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 diagnose? And, and what are you touching? What's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> now, in the lower back, the lumbar region, a lot of the nerves will come from here to stimulate most of the muscles down the back. Uh -huh. So even if I cannot touch some of the deeper muscles, I can touch the nerves as they run. So if I can move the fluid, the blood and stimulate the nerves, then I can stimulate the muscles further down. This we can do with the lower back. For the upper body, I can do this through the neck. So I'll stimulate many of the nerves around the neck. So this can work the diaphragm, the intercostals, where maybe I cannot get to massage, yeah. as well as moving mm -hmm. the muscles at the surface layer. By Are that like what you're doing there now? Say, not what you're doing there now, because you've already explained that. But in treating, say, um, a, a damaged muscle, where part of that is getting blood flow back, um, mm. healing tissue, ray, ray, ray. Mm. When you do what you do, does, do you have to do the constant stimulation of the nerves then for a period of time for the nerves to remember to hurry up and send, you know, no. or, or the veins to send more blood through or whatever? No, what I do is I create a balance within the body. 
Yeah. So scar tissue is very hard. Right. Yeah. And another example, if this is good muscle, my left hand, my right hand is scar tissue, like a cast. Right. When you put a cast on the leg, the muscle atrophies. So the scar tissue will be holding onto the good muscle, stopping it from working. So mm -hmm. this is difficult. What I do is separate the two. So now the good muscle can move. How do you separate scar tissue from the muscle? By working the muscle fibers. Yeah, so I can pluck the muscles. It's not painful. Pluck oh, them? Oh, yes, because that sounds pluck. 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 a little no, painful. Like, even, like, like a guitar. Yeah. Even, like, even like the very strip. deep muscles? Yeah, even the very deep muscles. So if you're an athlete, now I'm a massage therapist and a sports massage therapist, 1995, before I started Chinese medicine. And when I did this, most of the techniques based in Western medicine or Western allopathic massage is etherage, nice, soft, soaking you know, strokes. This is nice for relaxation, mm -hmm. pampering. So, so this is kind of deeper this muscle is much deeper. therapy type yeah. thing. So we can pamper, but if you're an athlete and you have strong muscles, to work the surface of the body is not sufficient. Mm -hmm. You have to press slightly deeper to move the muscles. If you don't move the muscles, you don't make repair. You know, you what, what's going on on the, on the screen? You know, on, on, on now, during the treatment, the footballer yeah. said that he had a heavy training this afternoon. Yeah. So by working, then my treatment plan would change because it's a new complaint. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So then I started using some cream. This is called Amor cream, which is good for um, rheumatic Okay. So yeah. after the treatment, the cream will continue to move the blood. So this way you release DOMS. Now, I only done one leg because his main complaint was the hip was one side. But then I also wanted him to feel the difference between mm -hmm. a good leg and a bad leg. Right. Yeah, so at least he can have a comparison. So this is not, my sunscreen, is not, isn't that a regular massage? No, mm, by far not. See, the cream I use is only on small areas of the body. It's very strong, very powerful. And so the mm. guy's in the so room. Is that, it's, it's like a heat cream? It's, or? A, it's like a heat cream, but not like... In England, we have deep heat. Right. It's mm -hmm. not like deep heat. Yeah. Deep heat opens the blood vessels. Mm -hmm. This also can be dangerous if you're already bleeding. Right. This oh. will keep the blood vessels the same size, but increase the flow the, of blood. Okay. So this makes it then a lot easier. No, so he's not really injured there. He's just got, what, a tired calf Ty muscle? Tired calf muscles like over DOMS. Um, be a trainer but by removing the fluid and the quality circulation then he can repair faster mm -hmm. yeah so I, I work not only with footballers I work with athletes mm -hmm. as well and also I work with a lot of martial artists mm -hmm. you know BJJ Brazilian Jiu Jitsu now, and boxers and if they're going into a fight and they're training for a fight if they're injured they cannot train mm -hmm. if they're, they mm -hmm. train too hard they've got muscle strain they cannot train so they come to me to the clinic to remove, so they um, can train hard every day. Just speaking of the cream, there's nothing in the cream itself that could end up getting that athlete banned. The, I, I work on two um, British Olympic athletes. Mm -hmm. One is Perry Sheikh Strayton and mm -hmm. the other one is Marilyn Kuru. They're both, um, one's an 800 runner and the other's a 400 hurdlist. During the Olympics, I use this cream. So it's, that, that oh, it's just, so it's completely just safe. that then once said that reason he tested positive yeah. for a steroid was mm. because of the cream that yeah. was used on it. Of course. Nobody has believed it except uh, Justin. But yeah. do, um, do you plan do you plan to, to, to extend your uh, expand your, your business into the Caribbean? The the answer to this question is definitely. The fifteen years ago when I started Chinese medicine, I had no idea that China would be so dominant. I was born from a Jamaican belly. Yeah, and now the spotlight is on Jamaica at the moment mm. mm -hmm. through sports, um, tourism, sports. And so the two together come quite well. And I have both in my hands. I'm a Jamaican parentage and a Chinese and medicine. Chinese. What about, uh, um, say, a South of Paulo who's had this groin problem from... Uh, a long <coughs> time. And they did, they had as well, they recommended surgery, mm. but is right. that, where would you start? Which he doesn't want. Right, mm -hmm. the first thing with a South of Paulo is... I'm on, I'm on telly, this is great. Yeah. Um, I would like to treat a sofa pal because if he kicks Bolt's ass, can I say that on telly? No. I've said it. No. Um, <laughs> and he wins, there has to be something why he won. Yeah, well, it, you can make a sofa beat Bolt. <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah. 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 you have so to You know, here's my knee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, for a sofa pal, there's things I can do to him and his body to make his body work efficiently. 
Mm. Yeah, being first and second. Can be I think it would be second. fair to say that his, his body is fairly efficient. No, but... I can make it more efficient. Right, that, that's mm. what I'm, I'm asking yeah. you. Can you take him up to another level simply by the answer is um, yes. doing this? Most of the runners I touch, every time after I touch them, they do PBs. So you're yeah. assuming that Asafa mm. is not getting to the levels he needs to because of his groin injury? Exactly. Well, so yeah. actually, you, you his coach said he's not getting there because but, of the no, amount but, of work he puts in. Not just that, but when you, as a runner, you will not explode because something may happen. It's holding you back. Yeah? Exactly. And so you always continue to keep yourself back. And if you're, when you're going to track and you're mm -hmm. running, it's not just one race to final. Uh -huh. You have to go through heats to get to final. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, the fast runners can hold back. Yeah. Sometimes they have to put the speed on. So this trainer treatment, is it good for all sports injury? It's good for all people. There's no difference between a normal person and a sports person. The injury is the same. Yes. A sprained ankle is a sprained ankle. Right. A pulled hamstring is a pulled hamstring. Right. I just have different levels of firmness applying mm -hmm. the pressure to a, a, a sports person than I would to a 92-year-old So this person. treatment can be applied to all injuries? This is done in hospitals throughout all of China. As yeah. a sort of recovery and rehab. Yeah, mm -hmm. they you go to you go to the hospital first to get treatment. Mm -hmm. After then we treat. In outside of China, we do not have this level. So you go to your doctor first, and then they'll diagnose. Mm -hmm. They'll send you for a CT. They'll send you for some drugs and a walking stick, and yeah, because that's how we make money. And when some many people come to the end, say, "Well, I refuse to do any more," they find somebody like us. After they find us, we do what we do, mm -hmm. and you walk again with a good knee. Alrighty, well, we have, a, we have a pretty big proposal for you to work on, Simon, because we're really mm. determined to, to get knee. you right back to... <laughs> oh, that knee. Good. Well, I can't reach it right Good. now. And I wouldn't <laughs> want to. But we're really determined to get him back mm. out on the cricket mm. field. Is that too much to ask for? But we have a proposal, and I believe it's in... Mm. Is it in a video? What, what, what would you... What's the proposed plan for Simon? Because he's really interested in taking him out. You will try this, right? You'll be the guinea pig. Be and we can pig. chronicle the whole experience mm. on the zone. You can do here, now. If, um, right yeah. now? Um, um, no, 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 the TV no, may no. Not, <laughs> not, not that fellow across no. there. <laughs> in, a, in a nice little room, mm. and you can rub on the cream and do that. No, that no, would no, no, that, that, that you thing with the knee. Yes. Different, different, different techniques for different people. Oh, because yeah. I couldn't handle that technique. And I just know it. But would it involve <laughs> that at some point in time? No. What is the point of that? Because oh. it looked pretty harsh. No, which one of them? There's two when I pulled the knee. One, yes, and you when can I put pull my arm under. Very... You can look his face. <laughs> <laughs> when I pulled the knee under, what I was doing was yeah. actually stretching. If you pull my knee under, I will just, I will just die on you. So and this you right here. Right, that one. But in another video, we saw you. I will box you and beat your sick <laughs> <laughs> because I would I would perish right. No. <laughs> it couldn't be done. <laughs> this is the other technique which I would use. So you just and use what it, I do, I can just stretch. Elongate in the muscles. Stretch. See, the knee is a hinge joint. Right. So if the knee is straight, you can you cannot pull. <laughs> That's a movement for the hip, not the knee. So when he's passing out, yeah. just looking at this. So that doesn't so hurt at all. Yeah, no, that's a knee and a hip. No, it hip, hip? anybody. The, the knee is a hinge joint. Yeah, yeah. So only there, even when it's locked, it's a hinge joint, it locks. There is no problem to the knee. When I rotate the knee, the problem I'm, is, I'm doing the hip. The problem is if Simon knees locks up, then it can't No, no, it. Now I'm doing a single, the, the mister, but when I did the single leg test raise after, the knee I worked, the leg I worked on went much higher. After the guy finished, he could rotate the leg easier and complain of the one I didn't touch. All right, we'll, All we'll right. get a proposal wow. going and see if we can't get this uh, cool. old knee sorted out. So I want to thank Carol Lynch for cool. coming in. You for watching. That's it for the Sports Max cool. Zone today. We're back tomorrow, 4.30. That's uh, Jamaica time, 5.30, of course, in the Eastern Caribbean. And any of you watching around the Caribbean, uh, you can get his number from us. I'm sure he'll travel as well. Soon come. Of course, after years of avoiding the doctor to fix his much publicized troubled knee, Simon Crosskill got an introduction to the benefits of Twina, that's it? Twina. Of Twina. Twina after Monday's show from practitioner Errol Lynch. Here are the highlights. Simon, getting comfortable, a much scared guy before the guy put his hand on him, watching him very carefully, threatened the guy about 15 times. 
He did threaten him. What? He said, trust me, if I feed anything, this leg coming right <laughs> up to the kiddo. But yeah, never mind that initial chance, um, opportunity to raise his leg didn't get further than about 10 inches. Here, here's years. the thing. Yeah, yeah. Prior to him doing it, yeah. he asked me to stick my leg out and, you know, the restrictions there. Yeah. And then um, the, the pressure that he applies with the hands, First of all, I don't know, it must have worked out in order to do it because yes. I tried doing it this morning and I bust after about three seconds. <laughs> it's got um, strong wrists and right, fingers. Very strong wrists and, and fingers. And what he does, what he was doing there is increasing the circulation to the knee. Um, he, he was saying that if he had longer, he would stretch the knee to create that gap between, between the joint that, mm. that obviously doesn't exist at the moment. You'd have to strengthen the ligaments and so on. But just there, he was manipulating the area. Mm -hmm. And when, when, when I got up and walked, there was no pain. You felt this kind of heaviness in the knee, but there was no pain and the knee acted normally. I'm now, not myself. I mean, by today, it's back to its old foolishness. But you could see that if you did several of those treatments Con with the oh, and you did some of the other things, and then you apply, I don't know what, it could, it, it could be the least. Alex, is that you there? Yes, I'm barefoot. I, I was in my comfort zone. I'm not barefoot right now, but don't mind it. Uh, so, so this is Simon's certain th threats right now. Okay, well here's like where he's like, put it up. Look at it. <laughs> yes. so, there you go. so miracles happen. It was it was quite surprising though, because I know you're a tough critic. You're a hard cookie to crack. And I honestly was I wasn't expecting anything, but when I saw that knee go up, I was singing Hallelujah. You were moved. I was moved. I'm ready to go back to go to him and see if anything's wrong with me. Hmm. So much to say, so little time. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so we've got to go. Nice to have a good show. We've got the UE Games, which ended today. We'll have the updates tomorrow. And more on the Reggae Boys. See you tomorrow.